This year was crazy. Yo, what's up Flick Army? It's your man Chab Flick here and today we are doing what I learned in 2016. So yeah, like I promised, we are doing it today. If it's a little shaky, it's because I found it with one hand. So yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm going to be doing multiple, like, I'm going to be doing like five or six things. So I don't want this video to be too long because like I'm going to be talking deeply about each one. But yeah, I'm going to be doing six things. So yeah, I don't know why I keep saying so yeah, but anyways, let's get right into it. Things may not go right, and you may have problems in life, but you have to learn to overcome them, whether it takes a lot of time, or it's really hard to overcome them, because everyone's going to have problems. You're always going to have problems in life, because life is not perfect. But I have learned that you have to be tough through the problems, and do your best to fix them, or like, if they're problems you can't fix, just let it go by, because... Eventually everything goes by. I mean, like you, most of the problems you can fix, but um, yeah, I've learned that you have to always just be strong through the problems. What I learned number two. So, <laughs> the second thing I learned is life is like that anything can happen, like. One minute everything can be perfect, and the next minute everything's just crappy and stuff. So, and what I learned from that is never take anything for granted. Because if you do, in a second you could lose whatever it was. So, always be grateful and um, always try to just enjoy something while it's there because it's not always going to be there the third thing i learned is if you want something you have to work hard for it because if you don't work hard for it you're not gonna ever get it like i know some things are given to you like gifts just stuff but like most of the time you have to work hard for things you have sorry i got the hiccups right now you have to work hard because like See, I wouldn't have 135 subscribers if I was not working hard for them. See, I worked hard over the past year. It's gonna we're gonna be rolling up on two years in a couple of months. So yeah, but um, yeah, always work hard for something if you want it. Like if you're gonna be a YouTuber, you definitely have to work hard if you want to grow. Sorry, the hiccups are getting me. But um, anyways. You have to work hard for stuff you want because not everything is just given to you. Like, there's a lot of stuff you have to earn other than, rather than get. Just get. So, yeah, that's the third, the third one. The fourth thing I learned is in middle school, if you date someone, don't, like, take, like, you can take it seriously, but it really isn't too serious because most likely they're not gonna be you're not gonna be dating them once you're like 20 or like most of the time it's really just like a th like a short thing like so like don't get heartbroken completely over something like I understand be sad or whatever because you really like them don't be heartbroken because I, I mean like it's not really too serious because it's a middle school relationship I have learned that I mean, high school's a little bit more serious, but, like, middle school isn't really, like, high school is normally when you start hanging out with them, like, outside school, and you don't just text them and stuff, like, so just don't get completely heartbroken and, and stuff over a relationship in middle school, because chances are you most likely weren't going to be with them in, once you're 20, or you, wouldn't, you weren't going to marry them, so, yeah, that's the fourth one. The fifth thing I learned is don't let people keep you unhappy. Don't let anyone take your happiness away. No matter who it is. If it was someone who broke up with you. If it was 
a friend that you got in a fight with, just try to keep a smile on. I know it's, like, especially with a friend, it's really hard. But, like, you need to live life happily. You have to have, live a happy life because, like, you only live once, like people say. And, yeah, you only live once and don't live it unhappy. Live it happy so you have good memories to look back on when you're older. And I've, and honestly, I've learned, always be happy. Like, I know, like, it's okay to be sad. Like, don't, like, be sad and depressed all the time. Like, being sad for a little bit, yeah, or mad or something, it happens, we're human. But don't stay sad and mad about the subject for the rest of your life. Not the rest of your life, but, like, for, like, a couple weeks. Is you don't get those that time back. So those are weeks that you lived unhappy, and then, yeah, so just try to live happy. That's what I've learned. It's like, there's been very sad moments in my lifetime, and I've learned that, like, it's okay to be sad, but things happen for a reason, and that's why I've learned that you have to try to stay happy. The sixth thing I've learned is love your family and friends, because... You never know when you're gonna lose them, and like, like I said before, like stuff can just disappear like that. So love your family, love your friends, cause you could lose them instantly, and never, never. I don't know what the word I am looking for. It's just like hold on to them as long as you can, cause you never know when they're gonna be gone. All right, guys, if you liked that video, please drop a huge like. Drop a sub down to my sister. Um, she is what inspired this video. So drop a sub to her if you want to see her vlogmas and stuff. The link will be in the description. Photo will be right here. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna upload tomorrow. I might take a break because I've been doing daily uploads. Might not. I might just do a regular vlog. Um, but I don't know. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Peace.